Alright, thanks for watching. This is a sixth video in a series dealing with Zencart. My name is Ryan, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add products to your shopping cart software program called Zencart. But real quick, there are prior videos to this, so if you haven't seen them, you'll need to. You'll want to watch those so that you know how to install your own shopping cart software program correctly without having to manually do it and potentially doing it incorrectly. So go up to your address bar and type in uh, www. and then the letter U and then save domains.com. And when you get over there, keep in mind you might want to have a pen and piece of paper handy as you're watching this video so you can make notes. Scroll down and you will see the video tutorials that are currently available. And down at the bottom you'll see the Zencart ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go under the assumption that you've watched the prior videos, you've got it set up, and it looks something like this. This is the default installation, kind of how it looks. We've already been working on it. It's a work in progress. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your products. So I'm going to log into my backend area, my control panel, which I showed you in the second video how you can access that. And I'm going to go over here to Catalog, and I'll go down to Categories and Products. Because there's no product section to click on here, I'm going to have to actually click on the category first because you have to have a category before you add a product. Just so you know, you might want to make a note on that. And right here I can click New Product. What I'm going to do is you can choose the uh, date here that it's available, right in here. I'm going to leave it blank for now. You can add uh, a manufacturer here. If you haven't already created manufacturers, you'll want to do that first by going up to Catalog and go down to Manufacturers. Then when you go in to add the product, you'll see the ability, the ability to choose which manufacturer you're dealing with. For the product name, I'm just going to type T-shirt. Some of the stuff I'm just going to leave as default. I can add a description here. Let's see, description of shirt scroll down a little bit more I can add the quantity available that way each time I make a sale it will uh, count downwards so you can keep track of your stock under the products image I'm gonna choose a picture of an image of a t-shirt on my hard drive and I will upload it in a moment uh, the weight the product shipping weight I'll go over that more in a future video but for right now, I think that's pretty much it. If I scroll over here to the right side margin, you will see Preview and Cancel. It's also located up at the top of the page. Preview basically means kind of save. So I'm going to click Preview. I'll see it right here. Whoops, I didn't enter a price. You'll see there that it's at zero. So I'm going to hit Back. I'll go back to the previous page here, and I'll go down to my pricing section. I'll put in $19.99. I'll go back over to the right side margin. Scroll upward, click preview again. And there it is. There's my blue shirt. And now I've got to insert it into my shopping cart. I'll click insert. Over here is my t-shirt. I've got the price set at $19.99. I've got 10 available. This green means that it's enabled, it's active, it's up and running, so people can bid on it, or excuse me, buy it now. Um, if I change that to red, I could actually disable it. Now it's turned off, so now the shirts aren't for sale. If I need to turn them off temporarily, I'll turn it back on here but just by clicking on it. If I need to edit the price or change the description or change the image, I can click Edit. If I want to delete it completely, I can delete it here. I can move it to a, another uh, another category if I want to. And I can also copy it to it to another category so that it's in two categories at once. And then there's a couple other options here. Attributes would mean if I have different sizes or colors. So I'm going to show you now what it looks like on the live site. I'm going to refresh the live page that all the shoppers will see and there it is there's my product I got my new products there I've got it down lower here on the screen If I click on clothing I'll see it here 
people can click this button here and add it to the cart and then they'll be able to check out and purchase it. And that's how you add products to your Zen Cart Shopping Cart software program so you can start making money online selling products. And this is from YouSaveDomains.com. Keep in mind if you like the video, if it's helpful and you think other people would benefit from it, wherever you're watching it, if there's a thumbs up or maybe a Facebook logo or something, some kind of social media, if you could just uh, give us a thumbs up or like us, that would be great. That just lets other people know about us and we really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll be adding other videos later. Take care.